Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. Time for another beer review. Time for a Virgin beer review as well, for courtesy of my left field beer hall. If you just found us here on YouTube, welcome along to the Hop House. With that hoppy beer, with that good house music, if you like either of those or both, give us one of those. Give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. Okay, Virgin beer review time. Virgin brewery review as well. Ooh, now I've not had anything from this beer on the channel. Um, I've, I have tried it on keg. I had one of their beers. I'm sure I had one of their beers in two locations. And I didn't like it. It was, I think the term was too dank for me. It just tasted just, I don't know. I just wasn't really in with the taste. So I'm hoping that this beer's better because Polly's Bruco, they're not that far from me. The North Wales uh, Mould, just west of Chester. Um, and they're really up and coming craft beer. Um, craft brewer they really are getting lots of accolades winning awards really spoken about in high regard so I wanted to give them a try and we'll see what we think I want to see what we're going to review so from Polly's uh, this is one of their new core beers came out I think November December last year no, so it's not not that long ago so this was in this was full price so this wasn't in their reduced section so this is not past its best before so to speak and it's this it's Polly's Florette it's a pale ale 4.5% ABV 440 milliliter can with the big Polly's down the side as they tend to do uh, and it's uh, it's got some lovely flowers on it though look at that uh, this is if I look at the Candon date it was yeah beginning of December and it's best before is not till June so this should be sort of fresh-ish couple of months old pretty good to me um, good price on Polly stuff actually on leftfieldbeer.co.uk go check them out I found very reasonable for this particular brewery right let's get it out and do it all. I'm going to use the Coracle beer glass for this the old uh, Coracle micro pub I need to get back down there um, Coracle pub Iron Bridge they do some great uh, real ales and craft beers and they do cans in the fridge as well uh, so maybe going forward when I venture down there I might t get some takeout won't fit the whole can in though, so we'll just put some in, and then we'll have to uh, we'll have to do a chop up. Right. Now then, look at that. I can rumba. Right. That's your beer. In the, that's murky. That is some murky shit. That is custard in a glass. Look at it, Jig. Look at the head. Look how it reacts. Can you see that? That looks absolutely ridiculously splendid and superb. Getting a bit of a whiff from here as well. Wow. That's murky. That is custard in a glass. You're not seeing through that. It looks really pineapple juice slash custard. That's what that looks like to me. To me, to you, to me, to you. Who were missus? Hmm. Interesting. Now, as I say, Polly's, uh, a lot of people talk about Polly's. Um, another beer review that I watch, Rocker's Beer Reviews, go check out his channel. Uh, he he ordered loads of stuff from Polly's. He had a full box full and he really, really likes their beer. The one I had that I didn't like, it was an IPA. He couldn't tell you the name of it. Um, but it was just so dank. It was just like, ooh, it was too resinous, maybe. I don't know the word to describe it. I've not tasted anything like that before. But it did look like this, so I'm hoping this isn't the same. Right, should we get some aroma? So if you're new to these videos, welcome along once again. This is where we stick that in there. We're going to give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. It's dank. It's resinous. Pineapple-y. Almost like a weird banana sort of smell as well. But it's really, yeah, it's quite dank and resinous. That's the main smell I'm getting from this. And that pineapple's coming through a bit. Not really getting much stone fruit. It's like pineapple and a bit of banana. Or could it be coconut? Maybe maybe it's got some sabro in it. Maybe it's sort of coconut-y. It smells sort of tropical, like sweet, tropical, plantain-y, banana-y. 
pineapple and then like some resin. It smells different. Right, should we give it a try? Bottoms up, down the hatch. It's, it's resinous, it's dank. It's nice though. It's quite, it's really refreshing. Very refreshing beer. Right, let me just get rid of some of this um, haze. It's been in my shed, which is nice and cold anyway, and I whacked it in the fridge. It's not been in the fridge that long, but my God, has it cooled down. I like my beers cold. I really do like my craft beers cold. I want it to dumb down the malt a bit and let the hops shine. Let the hops do the work they want to do. I don't want it to be salty malty. Right, get a laser vision for those that love the lacing. Just turn it around a bit, there you go, so you get the whole, ooh, without chucking it out of the glass like that. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Jig, 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 look at that jig around, look at that, look at that. Wow. That looks absolutely, I'm, uh, I'm orgasm, I mean an orgasm. Yeah, that looks great, love that. Love the look of the beer, absolutely love it. Smell, yeah, it's pineapple-y, sort of banana plantain -y. it's very strange. And a bit a bit of that sort of damp res resinous stuff. So I just chucked a couple of drops on the floor then, didn't I, when I jigged. It's easily wiped up, don't worry. Definite pineapple, definite banana-y or coconut-y or... It's not, it's not you... Could be a bit mangoey, maybe mangoey. Those sort of Caribbean fruits, like your plantain, banana, pineapple, mango. But then in the taste, the body's really light, next to nothing in terms of carbonation. It really is a cloudy, cloudy, hazy juice bomb. Really nice and cold, really refreshing. Little to nothing at the back end. Tiny, tiny little bit of tart fruitness maybe, but the flavor's all through the middle. It's a little bit dank, it's a little bit resinous. Nothing like the one that I tried in the pub. That, I didn't like that at all. I only managed half a pint of it. Um, I get, I get pineapple. I get standby. Getting passion fruit in the taste. Pineapple passion fruit, maybe a bit of papaya or something. It's sort of it's sharp, sharp and tangy. Sharp and tangy is sort of what you're getting in terms of the fruit aspect. It's not necessarily sweet, and I think that really helps it. Some of these hazy sort of cloudy beers, so we'll just get the rest of the beer in the glass, see if we've got any floaters in there. You know, it's too bloody, too cloudy to tell. I'm not going to spot any sediment there. It's too cloudy and hazy to tell. It's clouded it up even more, Christ alive. Um, it's, it's splendid. Really, really nice. And I'm glad that I've got something now from Polly's that I quite like because that one beer, I'm sure it was the same beer because I recognise the badge. It was an Indie Pale Ale. It was about five and a half, I think. It was below 6%. Couldn't tell you the name of it. That's wonderful. That's really nice. Really refreshing. Really drinkable. Oh, I'm getting the I'm getting that resinous though now a bit resinous. It's not piney. It's it's sort of they call it dank, don't they? Dank resinous. It's not pine. It's not piney though. Though it's it's a different sort of bitterness, but it's like a, a tart, sharp bitterness. It's it's a very different flavour. It sort of gets away with it in this, but it was really overpowered in that IPA I had, and it was just like, whoa. 
was a bit too dank for me. Right, so I'm going to do the can. <coughs> that is, that's stunning. I like that. Very nice. Very nice from Polly's. My first sort of Polly's beer really on the channel. Pay hot with Azaka, Citra and Simcoe. So it could be the Azaka. I've not really had a lot of Azaka. Of course Citra, we've had Citra before loads of times. And Simcoe, well it's everywhere. Simcoe is everywhere. Um, Florette Pale Ale. To say that that's one of their core range, that's really good. And I know I was looking at looking on Untapped. Um, I'm, I'm not on Untapped, by the way. I was just having a look at one of my local pubs, uh, the, the Reeking Inn that's recently opened. Sorry, don't know what happened there. Bit on my mouth. Um, yeah, the Reeking Inn in Wellington, again, another Routon Brewery pub. And they got this on keg. So I'm very tempted to go and try it on keg now. And then I'm going to see then, is it problem with the keg versions? Is it that it's kept for too, you know, you have it on for so many days, don't you? Is it, was it kept for too long? So the, that IPA I had was just like, whoa. I, I ordered a pint of it in the pheasant. I drank half of it, left half. And then I just had a little sample of it in the fighting cocks. I'm sure, sure to God it was the same beer. 5.6%, something like that, IPA. It was like, um, it wasn't a yellow, I think it was a pink thing with the drop on, which seems to be the poly logo. It was, it wasn't good, I didn't like it. This, I do. And at 4.5%, could I drink a lot of it? Yeah, it's refreshing enough, I could probably have about three cans of that, and then I'd be like, right, I'm ready for something else now. So it's not a, like a, a, an open and smash it back all night. The previous one I did, the Daya, could drink that all day. That was absolutely stunning. This is very nice. And it's a great turn up for the books for Polly's, in my opinion. Then again, they only try one of their beers twice. So you can't judge a brewery by one beer, can you? Okay, rating wise, I'm gonna give that. That's good. It's really good. Really good. Two thumbs up and a foot. So it gets three limbs out of four, which means it's it's pretty damn good. Highly recommended. Go get some. It's it's pretty much a wild beer, but it's not like a oh my god, what is this? But it's not far off. Polly's Florette. And that's the end of this beer review. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you for another beer review right here on the Hop House. Ciao for now, people.